I'm feeling in sync with my body, mind, body and soul and spirit. And oddly enough, I think it might have something to do with the employment, which is very strange in my experience, in my lifetime. It's very strange. If anybody has known me outside of the podcast world and in real life, I'm somebody who has had some very controversial, if not um, interesting hot takes when it comes to being employed, right? I'm not going to get into them, but you know, let's just say I've never really been the fan of having a full-time job or holding on to one for a long period of time. But with obviously COVID and the lockdown, and me having to do a lot of freelancing part-time stuff and just seeing how that world is and you know for the time being and also having the inability of not being able to travel and do the things I enjoy during that time also made me kind of see things a little bit differently and also made me kind of realize some things about myself that I didn't really you know want to acknowledge prior one of the things which I always kind of knew but now I've kind of added a little bit to it is the fact that I need structure like I like structure, which is odd because I try and fight against it all the time, but I need structure or I need some sort of framework in order to fight against something in order to bring out the best in me when I'm going to do my other extracurricular activities. If I know I've only got two hours to work out because I've got to go back to work, I'm going to make that workout count. If I know I've only got six hours to go party, I'm going to make that party count. If I know I've only got, you know, four hours to prepare a DJ set before I, before I go back to work, I'm going to make the DJ set the best available. You know what I mean? All these things are going to inform how I do this thing. Even when I was like blogging every day, I I'd wake up at like six in the morning, smash out a draft, read over it, edit it, and then upload it. Do you know what I mean every single day because I knew I only had that couple of hours in the morning of uninterrupted sort of writing to get it done. So it kind of brought out the best of me in that regard. But I used, I always used to think if I had more free time, I would do that stuff like ex. Uh, I would kind of just double down on that stuff and do it long and do it kind of throughout the day. So instead of waking up at six a.m. to write, I'd maybe wake up at nine and just keep doing it as like a from nine to five, quote unquote, and then bang it that way. But what I realized is that during COVID, when I had a lot of time in my hands, I generally like a lot of people. I just got lazy. I got fat. I ate a lot. I didn't really do much, which you know there wasn't much to do. Don't get me wrong, but I wasn't very. I wasn't. Um, I didn't use that free time that I thought I would be using to the best of its advantage. Like somebody like myself, I'm sure a lot of people are like this too, who are really driven. You have this weird fantasy in your head that if you were ever locked up in prison, that would be the best and worst thing to happen to you because obviously the worst because, you know, you're locked in prison, but the best because you would be self-actualized. You could double down on the strengths. You could focus in on things that you wanted to do. You'd come out with a book or with a script or with some project. You know, all these little weird fantasies you have because you've had no distractions. But the truth of the matter is that I was wallowing. Do you know what I mean? I was spending a lot of my time wallowing and I think without the distraction of work it let it kind of yeah the distraction of being employed keeps you from wallowing especially if you're trying to pursue like a creative field I've had some very interesting debates with people with it some people would say that oh you need to be able to have you need to be able to concentrate you know as much as your energies and your time into your creative field as much as possible which I understand but in my opinion I've always been somebody that kind of adopts the kind of or adheres to the earning leisure side of things earning leisure side of things is like I'm going to toil in this construction yard from nine till six or whatever it is nine till four and then on the weekends I'm going to go super hard and I'm going to go again on Monday you know what I mean and then go again go again that way so you earn your leisure you earn the right to get on it you earn the right to get blackout drunk you earn the right to lose your wallet and your phone the weekend because you decided to work you know strictly nine to five on a, on a Friday eating nothing but a flipping salad or Greg's every single morning and just bouncing 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 or just going day day after day day after day and then when it comes to the weekend you go to enjoy yourself where some people would say no I want to have that enjoyment throughout the entire week everyone's got different views I don't know if Tosa agree with that but when it comes to pursuing a creative field I also think that adheres to it or that kind of links to it because I also think that from the little experience I've got, especially living in London, most of the people that smashed it, who were really successful here, from the, what I saw, were the people that came from outside of London. Not the people that were in London had all the access to all the people, knew all the networks, go to all the events, had all the jobs, whatever it may be. It was the people that had to come here like when they were 18, 19, 20, 21, and had to kind of actualize themselves there and are the ones that's made the most out of it because they saw it as a land of opportunity and they just went and attacked straight away. They didn't kind of let rest on their laurels. But I also think a good way to attack it, if you are getting comfortable is to maybe have a nine to five that takes up a lot of your time and it restricts the hours or the amount of time that you have to spend on your thing that you want to do whether it's you know starting up a furniture store whatever I don't care what the flip it is when you have that job it kind of forces you to only spend a small amount of time doing the thing you actually enjoy which will inevitably if you're if it's the thing that you it's actually your calling something you actually love to do you would then make sure that those hours you're spending on the things that you're doing are like the best 
kind of fully focused hours that you've ever spent on anything in the hope that over time that kind of um the work that you do in a small amount of hours can then increase your yield increase your you know your sales whatever it may be so that you get to a point where you can suddenly put the full time to one side and pursue your dreams but i do honestly believe in the fact that having some sort of job it doesn't matter what it is don't get me wrong i've got a cool one at the moment but it can be anything working in a shop working in a cafe in a bar it doesn't matter as long as you've got something that's able to kind of occupy your time obviously and and, and also you know allow you to have some income coming in but then also restricts the time that you have available so that the time that you do have available to do your creative pursuits you have to be super locked in and not waste any time honestly i think that really does bring out the best in you from my experience that's what it brought out the best in me and i've definitely seen that over the last few weeks i've felt a lot more actualized i felt a lot more like on my on my on my on my thing you know, on my dean whatever it means i mean i'm i feel like i'm on point i feel like i'm doing what i need to be doing like monday to friday i'm locking in when the weekend comes around if i'm if i'm bothered i'll go out if not i'll just lock in prepare some stuff like you know i've got some mixes and stuff i've got to record in the next few weeks i'm gonna do empire i'm gonna start doing those every friday because obviously the dj bookings have kind of dried up now so i'm just gonna you know just let's just live stream some sets and play around and just live stream it and you know put it out to an audience and see what i go on that'll be fun and of course the photography stuff i've got some writing stuff coming up i'm just all this stuff is kind of you know emanating out of me because my time is being restricted during the day because i'm working i want to be in work mode so that when i'm out of work i want to make sure i'm using that time as as well as i can do you know what i mean i don't want to waste it i don't want to waste it now you know watching you know flipping hands made tales or something like that do you know I, mean? I, I just don't have the time for it anymore whereas beforehand when i was loitering and just wallowing around i could watch four movies in a day and not really feel anything about it because i didn't really have anything to kind of push against and i think that's what i needed i need something to push against so then i could go and do my best work which is a bit weird but you know i'm kind of realizing that by myself now you know as you get older you kind of actually you kind of realize stuff about yourself that you like and you don't like but then you also realize stuff about yourself that just is what it is and you kind of have to kind of make the make the best of what it is whatever trait it may be sometimes it can be destructive and it can be beneficial but that's the kind of mood i've been in at the moment because i'm just flowing at the moment i'm really i'm flowing the workouts are flowing the going out is flowing the, the 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 doing all this stuff is flowing everything's just like on the on the, on this right path so i'm hoping this feeling lasts and in general as long as i just keep my structure i should be okay and um yeah man that's how i'm feeling at the moment i don't know again i've had a lot of debates about people with this as well people are like oh yeah no you should try and if you're going to focus on your dream because some people out there would say just work a nine to five save lo loads of money like for six months or a year and then use and then quit and then kind of give yourself a year to make it with your dream which i think is obviously risky forget the risk i don't care about risk you know because you, you don't there is no um living without any kind of risk the risk isn't the big thing it's just unnecessary why not just work and do your thing on top of it also like because if it's actually your dream you can do the whole like gary that's where gary v comes in he's really smart about it, this gary vaynerchuk where he says if it's something that you actually you want to pursue in your life you should be able to commit to like doing it between the hours of like seven to one which is kind of figuratively either counting for the time it takes you to leave the office to having a drink with your friends or the, you should be able to to do your dream from nine to so, so seven to eight, what, seven p.m to one a.m if it's actually what you want to do there's no need to like work and then not do anything and then and then do it after you after a year that just doesn't make any sense but some people prefer to do i don't know where you sit where you sit on that but i'd love to know your thoughts and opinions on that kind of thing where do you land are you kind of the person that wants to keep a nine to five whether it's working in a bar or working in a kind of quote-unquote cool job in your industry so you can pursue your your dreams your aspirations on the side or are you somebody that prefers to just lock in and work or bounce around do part-time work save up some money and then just have like a six month one year runway to just try and see if you can make it happen i'd love to know what your ideas where you stand on it let me know in the comments down below i'd really really appreciate it